12 month kit for G&J &J 2400 with the machine powered off remove the dryer next step is to remove the dryer cover from the lower unit next step is to remove the feed table undoing the two screws underneath and three screws across the front end of the whole thing in you want to remove the rest of the covers you have to remove the two screws in back and the two screws in front on the top cover you remove the last of the screws on the top cover and remove the cover you have to remove the pinch handle you have to open the pinch handle and remove the screw remove your cartridges from the right side of the machine you want to remove the control panel There's a number of screws that have to come off before the side panel comes off. And this screw has to come out. And that piece has to come off. And there's two screws that hold the cassette box in. Remove the maintenance tank, remove the cover for the screw, and then remove the remaining screws. Remove the screws for the flushing pad, and we're going to remove four screws for the head cap assembly, the two screws for the flushing assembly, and two, two screws on top for the head cap assembly, and two screws underneath. Remove the hose. Once the screws are removed, the unit comes right out. Don't forget to unplug it. And you're going to have to undo Now we're going to replace the head cap assembly and the flushing assembly on the Glunson Jensen 2400 plate writer. Replacing the head cap assembly. Now that you've got the 12 month kit in the machine, we're going to put it all back together in reverse order. After you get the right side cover on, the next step is to put the control panel in place. Be careful of the ribbon cable. When you get the control panel in, the last step is to replace the dryer cover. You have then successfully completed the 12 month kit for Glutz & Jensen 2400.